I met Ruth White with her son Riley and her sister Gracie in her cosy bungalow in South Wales. She's had lots of treatment for cervical cancer, surgery, radiotherapy and drugs, but it's come back and now she's convinced she could be treated by a new radiotherapy technique called Cyberknife. We raised £2,000 on the darts night on Friday. 2000 wow, 2000 so we're doing really well. With her sister Miffany, she's desperately trying to raise money for the treatment here or even in Turkey. I just think it's ridiculous because loads, all the European countries have got loads of machines. So I don't know why we're so far behind with two or three machines. Well, one machine doesn't even work at the moment. So you know, I just don't know why we're so far behind. And then David Cameron was on the news saying we're one of the leading countries in it. In the end, Ruth may not be a suitable case for treatment with this new generation of radiotherapy. It's so new, specialists don't know yet all the cancers it can treat successfully. But they reckon over 3,000 patients a year could potentially benefit. Cyberknife is just one of a number of new techniques for delivering radiation doses very precisely to kill cancer cells. The machine is guided by a simultaneous 3D scan. It can even adjust for your breathing. In the US, there are 100 of these machines. There are three in NHS hospitals. Specialists say they're a real advance, but they need to tread carefully. With this type of radiotherapy, although it's as available, uh, in, particularly in North America and Japan, actually the testing of it has been done in a fairly rudimentary fashion. One of the things that we're very keen on doing here is actually doing proper trials of treatment so we really find out who benefits and who doesn't. For Ruth, that knowledge may come too late. Her doctors say her cancer isn't treatable. She can only take drugs to prolong her life. But she and many others, including MPs, think the NHS is being too slow. I found out there were three machines in, three Cyberknife machines in the UK already, but they're all London-centric. Um, and then I discovered that actually the Department of Health hasn't actually got itself sorted out and worked out what it's going to cross-charge its various bits and pieces to allow people to use this machinery. That seems balmy. The Department of Health told us this treatment is already available and said we have made a commitment to accelerate work to reduce variations in access to services. Ruth has now married her partner Dave. She just hopes that new treatment will give her and many other cancer patients hope for a new future. Doris McGinty, ITV News.